Hello gorgeous, my name is Gia, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hello gorgeous, my name is Gia, here's what to do when you're feeling desperate for love, when you want to fall in love, have a love affair, want to have a boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever, spouse. Um, here's exactly what to do, number one, these are, these are things right at the top of my head, I have some notes here just to get them all, but I'm telling you from my heart. First things first is to practice gratitude. This is so much easier said than done. If the reason why I'm saying this is so simple, but it's not easy. So it's like getting rich. It's simple in concept. All you have to do is put in the time, put in the work, put in the effort, and then you're rich. But if it were truly easy, everybody would do it. If everybody practiced gratitude, everybody would be happy. You see the news, nobody's happy. <laughs> if everybody put the time in, everybody would be rich, but they don't. And that's what separates the rich from the poor. And I'm telling you this not because I'm not telling you monetarily rich also, I'm telling you with your soul, with everything that you do in your life, with how you experience things and be in the moment living your life. So first thing is to practice gratitude. And I'm saying even the bad things, even the negative things. I was talking with someone and they said, you should practice all the uh, practice gratitude of all the good things in your life. And I said, and the negative things. And they said, no. And I said, yes, that how would you know those good things are good? That's how you go crazy when you have good things all the time. When people are, uh, when people expect, they, they say, I want someone to make me happy. You should make yourself happy first and foremost, that there's so many things wrong with just that alone. Um, you like personally, I think humans want contention. They want someone who challenges them or who pushes them to be better or motivates them, depending on the type of relationship you want, obviously. I know, I also know people who say, I just want things to be easy. It's like, well, that's your problem. <laughs> and um, people say, I want someone who makes me happy, sparks my light all the time. That's insanity. It's crazy to want to be happy all the time. How do I know? I live here in Los Angeles walk out the door and we have a homeless people problem. Those people are happy all the time. They're happy living in their filth. They're happy shooting up. They're literally happy all the time because they don't want to come back to reality doing drugs. And I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, shooting up, but I just did. <laughs> so that's what happens when you're happy all the time. You don't want to see the truth. You don't want to face what's in front of you and confront your actual situation. It's okay to be uncomfortable and you have to change rela your relationship with comfort in order to grow and to find who you actually want or that person will uh, come and find you and practicing gratitude is really tough staying consistent with it is even tougher <laughs> uh, it, and it can be simple things uh, you don't have to make things complicated remember to keep it simple and you will always win when you streamline and not over complicate things and think like oh that means I have to write in my journal five things I'm happy for it's like no I want you to just be in the moment right now and just think in your head or say it out loud. What I like to do is do it with someone that I'm with in person and say the things you're grateful for and then ask why. Because when you reason why, you when you reason with anything, when you reason with children, when you make a point and then you find an argument to back up what you're saying, you logically think, oh, that makes sense to, the, to do that. And it makes you want to do it more. You realize you are capable. You realize that it's not as hard to do. And they say with habits, when you break down the logistics of things, say like people, they wanted people to vote, they would ask them, how are you gonna vote? How are you gonna show up? What bus stop are you gonna take? When you break down the actual facts of these things, you absorb it better and you want to do things better. Next is to go out and live your life. Do the things you want to do, even if it's by yourself. So create memories by yourself. So many people, say i want to travel and i want to do it with someone of course it's better to travel when you're not alone but it has been proven over and over again to travel by yourself when you travel by yourself that you make more friends and your experience is richer because nobody is there to pull you on their schedule and do things they want to do you stay more inside of your bubble when you travel especially i'm not saying like just travel by, by yourself i'm saying do all the things by yourself so travel is just an example but when you are with someone you guys don't want to venture out you guys get comfortable and say oh you want to eat pasta okay let's eat pasta and you're not even in, in you eat pasta every single night at home together or all the time that, that you see each other do something new be out of your comfort zone and when someone else is traveling with you you have to kind of compromise with their schedule oh they're tired but i want to go sightsee oh you want to sightsee but i'm tired so it's it's better if you're alone because things are on your terms and that way you get to actually do all the things you want to do and you're not married so you do you don't have to compromise on all these things that 
or you're not in a deep relationship that you have to compromise on all these things so take advantage of the time of being free having disposable income and spending money on yourself and whether it's and discovering things by yourself because you learn more about yourself um you challenge yourself more where you're not putting up a a a certain facade or personality a, a way of being when you're with someone else sometimes Sometimes I just want to relax when I'm by myself, where when I'm with someone else, I feel like I have to be an even better example. Yes, when I'm alone, I can relax about it and not like, I practice like the language I'm going to use in my head. And when I'm by myself, I can just relax. <laughs> I don't have to make sure that um, my outfit is super, uh, I don't know, super uncomfortable, whatever it may be. It's just when you're by yourself, you can be yourself and nobody's forcing you to be not that they are anyway when you're with someone else but no, you don't have to overextend yourself to host because when i host i like to be extra considerate of who's around me and it takes a lot of energy and when you do things alone by yourself you figure out what you like and what you don't like and when you're doing things with others then they also might be averse to what it is that you guys are doing and say you love doing something and then it's another sense of compromise another moment of compromise where they say i don't want to do this anymore but you want to stay stick around and keep going you don't want that you just want to have freedom <laughs> enjoy your freedom while you have it and the final thing is channel that love that desperation that feeling of wanting to be partnered up with someone into your social circle so this means your friends because family can be friends your loved ones can be friends whatever people who are around you say that if you live abroad from your family whomever you are around make those people your family and really include them into your life stop by if you bake a cake stop by with a slice and say hey i made this or invite them over or say like oh i got this um i got i want to i really want to see this new movie on that is starting to stream on netflix and i i want to watch it with someone and i want to and then you guys can chat after it have a glass of whatever and the thing is you guys, you can always make an excuse to see your friends, to talk with your friends, and I mean in person, face to face connection. Even if it is FaceTime, I want you to remind your loved ones that you are there and remind them that you love them because you can't, especially if you have other single friends, and the thing is, or family, and the thing is, you want to be partnered some, with someone so much, but you can channel that into someone that is already there for you, that is already showing up for you. So you can't neglect those people and you really, I personally think you have to nurture the ones around you. And that's why I feel spread so thin personally during the week because I wanna show up for everyone in my life. The like people on the internet, um, the uh, friends I've made over the internet, friends I've made abroad, I will send out cards all throughout the year for, for Yule or Christmas or Hanukkah and all to all my friends and family that I've created over the years from traveling so much or even to my husband's family or to which McCall just all my friend like my girlfriend who lives down the street here so I think it's really important that you don't neglect the love that you already do have and when you remind yourself that you're not really alone you don't feel as desperate and you focus on yourself you prioritize on what you already have with gratitude going out and doing what you can by yourself you have that freedom and prioritizing that channel into the people that are already in your life don't forget that you are already rich you just have to realize what you have there's a quote but i think it was by socrates who said uh when you or was it aristotelian so i think it's socrates so he said um, you can probably Google it too. I'm going to butcher this. When you realize the little that you, if a man who can be happy with the little that he has can be happy with anything or happy with less can be happy with more, something like that. That's why we're so depressed here in uh, developed countries. I live here in the United States. I, I think I mentioned earlier that I live in Los Angeles and here in developed nations and first world countries, there's some, there's a lot more depressed rich people and more depressed people in developed nations because we've kind of lost our purpose we've kind of uh we've advanced so much in technology we don't have to go to uh go out and kill our food we don't have to go out and get water uh we don't have to um really like start a fire we just turn on the stove and it's there so our purpose in life is a bit more centered on other things and we find other things to be unhappy about or <laughs> if you are like working hard outside it's just something you had to do so here we complain about such easy things and it's important to rewire our mindset to have that rich mindset of being appreciative of what we have and i feel to be honest 
that well everything i'm saying here is honesty from my heart but uh the things that i am the moments that i am the least happy are when i have too much stuff because then i have too much to worry about because i am a person who likes to really empathize and be considerate with everyone and everything around me and i really think about all the things i have all the people i have and all, like take it to another level so when i do have too much i really feel unhappy which is really weird or it's, i guess it's not weird i think it's just a weight that that we need to lift of simplifying our lives realizing what we have and when we when you realize you have a lot you have more problems like the more things you have the more things you're tied to the less freedom you have so that's something to consider um and give this a like share this to someone who feels like hey you're you have a single life like i'm married when i see my single friends having fun i think i'm glad i'm not them <laughs> and then i also think I wish I was them. So it depends on the time of day, it depends on where I am in my life and the things I'm doing because I there are there's obviously give and take when you're in a in a relationship or being married in general and or vice versa. And the thing is people don't realize what they have obviously when during the time and I'm sure there are a lot of parents who think like, "Wow, I wish I lived alone in my apartment where I could do whatever I wanted." And but we're faced we're faced with what we give we face what we're given and we have to make the most of it. So give this a like, share this with someone who needs it. And I don't know where you are at what stage in your life, but I hope you find something to be grateful for. If you want to master social graces, visit DixonEtiquette.com and sign up to my free fine dining masterclass link below. Subscribe for a more elegant life. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.